Kill more rat towns. Uh, oh yeah. I'm a little under the weather, but uh, my health is not as important as you guys. David Kilmore got a Prokhorat around 1990s, that's the start of the 1990s, and he used it around, I'd say, 1990 to 1995. So the Venice concert was actually in 1989, which featured Pete Cornish P2, a Southtech type Big Muff, and same goes for 1990 Nebworth as well, uh, Pete Cornish P2 he used there. Actually, both of these concerts are very close to each other with a little EQ tweaking, probably. And after Nebworth, 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 David Kilmore started using Proco Rat. And actually, his pedal board got quite smaller. He used a Boss CS2, a Proco Rat, a GA7 EQ, and a chorus, and some delay and, well, amp. You can hear this exact sitting on this 1991 guest appearance. He plays on the Turning Away here, and it's pretty clean tone, if you ask me. I've seen some people in the comments go like, his overdrive didn't kick in or something. No, that is not true. Like a Tone Master is gonna use a broken or somewhat broken overdrive in his rig. That is just funny. No, he only used Boss CS2 and that's a maybe. He used a very like cleanish type uh, Proco Rat. He probably cut some little low mid range with his GA7 and Chorus and Delay. Anyway, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna use this pedal, Mower Black Secret, which is by far the best Prokhorat clone. It's like, not clone, it's the same pedal, <laughs> exactly. I can't hear one frequency different, maybe that's just me. And it's like 50 bucks or something, maybe 60 bucks, I don't know. I bought it years and years ago, and, and for that matters, I even sold my old Prokhorat. Actually, I didn't sold it, I lent it to a friend, which I'll probably never see again. <laughs> So let's use this pedal and a few more that I'm going to give on the screen to get that cleanish Proco Rat on the turning away tone, okay? That is pretty close considering I use a 1 watt amp. You beat it, just go down to the comments and let's talk. After that, David Kilmore used this Prokhorat on the Division Bell album. On What Do You Want From Me, definitely. And maybe on High Hopes, maybe. I'm not sure because that's a slide. Now to think of it, maybe he used Prokhorat on Keep Talking Solo too, but so again, let's use this rat clone on What Do You Want From Me. I covered this song a while back and it was literally spot on tune. Just go watch that. I think you're gonna be surprised how awesome this pedal is. If you want the exact set things and tabs, just head over to my Patreon. It's like still for five bucks. It's tons of tone guides and tabs and backing tracks. Let's cover this song.
the last occasion that I know of that David Gilmour used Procorat is 1994 and 1995 actually, the Division Bell Pulse Tour. You can hear Rat on the neck pickup on What Do You Want From Me and Keep Talking and oh my god that Keep Talking solo. I've actually covered that solo if you can just listen to that and come back and watch my Pulse Definitive Guide which is the perfect guide if you're looking for that Pulse tone with extracted guitar tones and everything. But it's very clear that David Gilmore used Rat on What Do You Want From Me and Keep Talking. Actually he used it on Money's second solo too. Sorry, I should add that. So these were the three different David Gilmour sounds. He probably used Procorat on a lot more, but I think this pedal, I mean a Procorat clone, or just Procorat, or distortion, I mean, mid range distortion, can do a lot more than that. A lot more than those three types of tones. Remember Live 8? David Gilmour, Roger Waters, Nick Mason, Rick Wright's greatest reunion ever. Gilmour used the pedal chord Pete Cornish G2 on that concert for Money and Comfortably Numb. If you don't know G2, it's somewhere between Big Muff and a Tube Driver, but it's actually close to Tube Driver, but it's like, it's kind of its own pedal, okay? Procorat or rat type clones are pretty close to that, at least people say so. Not quite, in my opinion, but still a great alternative. So I'm gonna use this pedal to cover those G2 tones. And if you're really into that G2 type tone, I mean on Gdansk, which we're gonna be talking about in a few minutes, I highly recommend you check out my Past Effects Revolution review. I think that is a perfect G2 clone. It's always on my pedal board. I just love that pedal. So let's keep going on with this one. <laughs>
Okay, also, let's talk about Gdansk. There are tons of G2 tones in there. I mean, Fat Old Sun, uh, Echoes, On an Island, First Solo, I think that's G2. At least what I hear is G2. Just watch my Gdansk Definitive Tone Guides. It's just like the perfect video if you're into Gdansk tones. Now, let's use this pedal. I mean a Prokhorat type distortion to cover David Gilmour's G2 tones on Gdansk. Well, that was close, but I think a G2 type pedal would do better. And this is not big promotion or anything, but I really recommend Past Effects' Revolution. I just love that pedal. I want everyone to have that pedal. And finally, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna use this pedal to get cleaner overdrive type David Gilmore tones, and I'm gonna crank it, and I'm gonna try to get some fuzzy and big muffish type tones too. This may not be very ideal for big muff tones, but for overdrive tones, I think this uh, on the low settings, low gain settings, it sounds pretty good. So let's hear a couple of sounds, and I think you're gonna be impressed with how awesome this pedal is. I mean, rat tones, not just this pedal.
let's talk in the comments what do you think i think procorat is one of the best distortions ever and i think everyone needs to have a procorat or procorat clone in their collection and i mean gem pedals's rattler uh, or mower's black secret and uh, ghs's take on rat pedal i think that sounds awesome too or just procorat i mean there are a lot of alternatives i don't use rat much i admit that but i think it's great to have one uh, at the tip of your fingers at least in reserve. So if you enjoyed this video, I'm 110% sure you're gonna love my channel. It's got tone guys, it's got rare covers that nobody else does but perfect spot on tones. Tutorials, pedal reviews, pedal comparisons, album guides, everything. And handmade, yeah, handmade backing tracks and rare tabs that I personally write at my Patreon. I highly recommend you check there. You can access the tons of tone guides, pedal settings, amp settings for specific tones, gear alternatives and everything. Just check it out. I think you're going to be impressed. So let's talk further down in the comments. What do you think about the red tone?